Thunderstorms in north central Washington forced firefighters battling that Carlton complex fire to be pulled off the fire lines. That fire, now more than 250,000 acres, is destroyed 150 homes, and tonight containment is at 16%. As firefighters deal with the dangerous conditions, KXY4's Erin Luna shows us how people are working to make sure firefighters know they're appreciated. It's difficult to tell just how many firefighters are here in central Washington. Many inside the fire line attacking it with shovel and axe. And while residents here can't see them, they're glad they're there. For more than a week, firefighters have been driving down Highway 20. For more than a week, they've been sleeping in tents, in the heat, in the rain. For more than a week, they've been watching the fire destroy homes and memories. But residents have also been watching them. Thankful they're there. How do you say it without putting a sign out for them to see when they drive by? I'm sure they see it, so. It's the biggest wildfire in the history of Washington, a priority right now in the country. Thousands of hands reaching out to tame what Mother Nature set loose. It's just awesome to see everybody, you know, doing their job. <laughs> Goosebumps, kind of. <laughs> Danielle Murrah isn't the only one saying thank you. Saria Demotica called on firefighters to help her save her home. And so he's like, do you think I uh, can get one crew in there? And I'm like, how about two? She was one of the lucky ones. The fire crews are who saved my place. Yeah, and I'm super thankful for the fire crews. Over 2,000 firefighters converged on the Carlton Complex fire, including 53 fire crews, 134 engines, 12 dozers, and 18 helicopters. Many won't see the signs or pictures drawn by small hands, but that's not why they do it. They do it because it needs to be done. My brother's been on the fire and lots of family and friends that I know. And they'll continue to fight until the last line is dug and the last ember extinguished. I just think to say thank you for all the firefighters and all the help that's going on around here. Fire crews from Alaska and Utah are just some of the folks here battling this blaze, and it'll take everyone to get it under control. Reporting in Chelan, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 News.